So this is the state of play, fully painted, fully dried, track all pinned, all ready to go. Next stage is to put the scatter on. So what I've done is I've put newspaper around the edge there to catch any that falls. I'm just going to do this bit today just, just as a practice run, a test run. So in my old box of stuff, I found some loose green scatter and a load of previously bought Hornby Scenics scatter in various colours. So, a couple of dark greens, three light greens, and a brown. Plus, there's that sort of green there from the other lot. So, that is going to be my mix. I'll do it in different kind of um, amounts. I've got some PVA. I'm going to brush that on and see how it goes. Okay, so I've mixed some water in with a PVA. It's about two thirds thin PVA, cheap PVA, and one third water. Just so it'll spread a bit easier and not rip all my paint off on the baseboard. Then I've put a mixture of scatter. There's dark, mid, and light scatter in there. I've just put it in a tub, which I've drilled a bunch of holes in to use as a shaker. I've drilled from the inside outwards so it doesn't catch. So I'll just literally turn that and shake it on like that. First though, we've got to paint it on. Okay, so I'm just going to do this section here. So I'm going to coat it liberally with the PVA. You can see it's spreading really nicely. Go up to the edges of my paint. Because it's thinned, it will spread. Hopefully it's going to soak through a little and uh, help to seal the paper or the papier mache to the foam underneath. There we go. Obviously I'm just doing a small area right now because I'm sure the the centre of the board is still holding a little bit of moisture in the paper and the foam. So this bit I know to be <laughs> rock solid and dry. So I'll be putting the ballast on a different day. So I don't have to worry too much about making a massive mess. So that's the PVA on. Let's just start shaking. Light dusting first of all. It's going on really nicely. This tub was just something from the kitchen. There's nothing specialist about it. Um, I finished it the other day, there was palm sugar in it, um, and I thought, oh, that's going to be ideal, so I just rinsed it out, obviously dried it out, and just drilled the holes, and look at that, it's working really well. Now, the PVA, obviously, is white, I am told that it will go totally clear afterwards, there's PVA tends to do. And we'll of course uh, verify that with a bit more footage later on in a few hours time. There you go. This has given me some good control over it. I can put stuff on nice and lightly nice and evenly. I haven't got a lot going around the edges, you know, being lost, so that's good. Still been hoovering it up for years, I should think. My record so far is 11 years for coffee stains that you still can't um, 
eradicate completely in a house when I blew up one of those Italian coffee pots because I forgot to put it together properly. It's rather amusing. The fact that I'd done it as an apology for an argument that <laughs> frankly I should have won, but you know, you know. I was being uh, diplomatic, so three, four days later, you know, three, four days of silence, made a lovely coffee after a meal, and as uh, as she walked through the door, the coffee pot went bang, coated the entire kitchen with coffee, which was really not funny. So there, that's done, that's quite nice, I'm quite impressed, I'm just going to give it a little pat down, because we want it sticking and bed in, don't we? It does, of course, look a little bit uniform, even though I've mixed a few colours, um, and a little bit bland, but that's just temporary, because we will then add a dusting of other shades, colours, what have you, on top of it. So this is just like the first initial coat of it. So I've gone down towards the track. Like I say, I'm going to be putting ballast on. Oh, got a little bit, a little bit thin there. I will be putting ballast on this, so the ballast is going to go up to the edge of the the grass. <coughs> Excuse me. At least in this a, at least in this area, shall I say? around the tracks there we go yeah I can see a lot of it's still loose but that's fine we are not at the moment in any kind of difficulty or having any worries or concerns, I think that's really looking quite good. A little, little bit there that needs a tad more. There. So, take the trusty phone down. So, as you can see, this close up still looks really coarse. That's looking really good. There's good coverage there, but it does look very uniform. Now, when that's all nicely dried down, I brush it off with a with a soft paintbrush onto the side there, onto the edges, and then I can put my coating of PVA on and put a second lot. So I think that's actually looking very good and very effective. And I'm tempted to do the rest. <laughs> I had some PVA left, so I couldn't resist doing that little section as well. And this corner. And a bit at the side. You may notice I've still got the uh, tongue to make. Both ends. But yeah starting to look like a model railway.